What is it about the game that you love so much? I was just captivated by the speed and the pace of the game and really just the challenge that it offered. 16-year-old Dayton O'Donoghue has been playing hockey most of her life. When I was about four or five years old, my brother was already into hockey, but he wasn't jumping at the bit to get on the ice. I wanted to be out there. I wanted to be the O'Donoghue hockey player of the family. Known for her speed and stick handling, Dayton thought she'd teach me a thing or two. Want a big wind up here? Big and wind a up. Big follow through. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the game of hockey has given her so much at such a young age, including the tools to cope with the loss of her father. I was about 10 years old when my father passed away, and sorry, my entire hockey family was just always there for me. The rink was just about the only place I felt every single one of my worries just faded away. Hockey has taught me to be resilient. No matter where I see a challenge, I always go in head first. One of your main goals is to make hockey more diverse. Yes, I have been a part of the Blacker Hockey Club and through them I've seen the importance of having a community of like-minded people. Growing up, hockey, no surprise, is a predominantly white sport and I've never had another black teammate. So even just having someone that knows what it's like to shove an afro into a helmet, it really makes a huge difference. The club provides education, scholarship opportunities and community spaces that will give black women access to hockey. I'm working with Bauer to help get Blacker Hockey Club scholarship recipients the equipment that they need to make sure that financial barriers are not the reason why kids are dropping out of hockey because frankly, at some point it seemed like because of financial strain, I wasn't going to be able to keep playing the game. And the Blacker Hockey Club helped me continue along my journey. She's dedicated to giving back to her community, volunteering with a number of charitable organizations, and started a neighborhood hockey program to teach kids the fundamentals of hockey from her driveway. Seeing the smiles on their faces when they finally get to raise a puck or when they pull off a move that I've been teaching them, it is amazing. You are a judge for the NHL All-Star Competitive Skills. What's that going to be like? How do you feel? My work kind of led me to Vegas to be a part of the NHL All-Star Weekend. I am beyond excited for my involvement with that and I can't wait to see what, what the future holds. Yeah! On a scale of 1 to 10, do you think I was pretty good out there today? I mean, I definitely think there's potential, you know? She loved me out there. Now, currently she plays for the Toronto Junior Arrows, but her dream is to play Division I hockey at a university with elite athletes and academics while continuing to inspire others play the game. She graduates next year. Now, Anthony, I know your daughter is 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Is this something she aspires to? Uh, you know what? She's in dance, but I mean, so many, so many young girls are getting into hockey, and that's the amazing thing. And my daughter, you know, my son plays hockey, so you know, it's an interesting uh, combination at home. But I, look, it's amazing. Future holds a lot. Well, this is it. But it's amazing what she's doing, though. I can see uh, this young woman going very far, whether on the ice playing or in coaching, even. For sure. Good stuff, Susan. As always, thank you.